Alright, welcome everyone, we're Semblance of Sanity, I'm Caleb, I'm Jacob, and we're here for JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure, Adventure Part 4, Episode, episode 24. 24. Alright, All right. so, oh. um, uh, oh. several people are in, well actually no, mainly Kira is actually the one in trouble right now. Yeah, um, uh, Jotaro is wounded a little yes. bit, but, but Kira's hand has been affected by the, like, weight shifting yep. like thing that happened to uh sheer heart attack right because of echoes now act three act three and of course act three uh is so kindly not describing how this works just it's beyond your comprehension right it used some kind of thing combining three and freeze so right. there's some kind of and there's some kind of like attribute kind of based kind of damage or some kind of attack where it yeah like yeah it, it changes something like it, it cubes their weight or something yeah like or that, what have you know you. um yeah yeah but but uh but here we are uh sheer heart attack for the moment is disabled ish um yes but kira's on his way jotro's in trouble and yeah yeah, and we could really use a uh, a crazy diamond heal on we Jotaro really right about now. Yep, yep. And mm -hmm. also, at the very least, we would love any of the other bros here because if Kira shows himself, mm -hmm. we can then like go on the hunt. Well, yeah, and now we chase you. <laughs> right, exactly. Because it's kind of hard to uh, keep yourself hidden, as Kira has found out, when your yes. arm weighs a ton. So right. Yeah. Uh, however, as <laughs> Many episodes have shown us this whole thing basically falls on Koichi. Like, we we kind of need Koichi to pull another awesome here. Yep. Maybe um, uh, Echoes will go to Act 4. I, I think not. what we need to have is Echoes Yet. find some way to, like, if, if, if Kira can basically, like, recall Sheer Heart Attack... Then he can probably then bring out uh, Killer Queen. Right, and, and then th they're in trouble. And then they're in trouble, yep. but... But if they can't do that, if Koichi can harry off Kira from getting close, mm -hmm. I don't know if Kira can then recall sheer heart attack. Right. And then if that's the case, Koichi can then like maybe call for help, back up, mm -hmm. and then the tables will switch uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. But the first Kira needs to get there. First Kira needs to get there. Yeah. And that time when Kira's not there... And when they are basically figuring this whole thing out, mm -hmm. is going to be precious. How yes. you spend it uh -huh. is going to be very important. Yep. So, yep. Uh, yeah. Y'all, this fight continues. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I love that it's not just a pride thing, you know? It's... Mm -hmm. It makes him stand out. Oh. Oh! Oh! Crap! Oh! That that's would hurt! Bad. Oh, man. Wait, he could use his hand like a mace. If, uh. But his hand isn't close. any harder, is the thing. <laughs> yes, right. It's not any tougher to deal with this. Oh. Now, here's the question Can he pull out Killer Queen? Yes, he can! Yes, he can! Oh, my gosh. キラークイーン第一の場。This is bad, Jacob. He can bring out Killer Queen while Sheer Heart Attack is still out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but I, I like, always kind of assumed that that was the case because it was just something that detached off of uh, Killer Queen's like hand or something. Well, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, 
yeah, I, I, I don't think I was willing to basically make that jump because I don't have like perfect memory uh, of, of, of seeing that like happen. Well, it was more just because it only affected Kira's hand, not his whole body. Yes, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Chase yo. Chase yo. Chase yo. Ugh. I wonder if there are basically though, you know, if if that's basically just uh, an ability, yo. but it's a detached part of his stand like that, then would there be other parts of his stand? Mm. Yeah, no, I know. It's oh, crazy. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. They were called. I'm, I'm an idiot. Yes. Get him here. Get him here. I had a feeling that's that going to happen. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, dang. Just not so close that it explodes. Oh. He's just already here. Wow. So five minutes. That's uh that's fifty rounds of combat. Yep. Oh, this is wow. this is cool. That's wow. that's clever. That is clever. He's trying to play it off. Oh no, he's no, not. No, he's actually talking seriously. Wow. Oh. ここから。あと2分。オッケー。君は2人の友人。ボタンのついた上着は置いてきたよ。後で取りに行く。おお。暇つしてからね。おお。こいつが。Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Whoa! Jeez! Oh. Jeez! Alright. Wow! Oh! S-H-I-T! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a pose. <laughs> These are his shitty bomb stands. <laughs> Crap. Gotta protect Jotaro, too. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've been seen. Mm -hmm. Yes, you... <laughs> and you have a limited timetable here. This music is way too cheerful. Yeah. I'm not a monster. <laughs> I'm trying to be all. respectful, yes. <laughs> no! It's been touched. It's uh -huh. been touched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Koichi! わたしはここまで来る間、君に今のと同じ靴を与えられたが、私を見習いたまえ。ほら、ティッシュが必要だろう。ああ。花が詰まるってことは脳の働きから気楽院で吹き飛ばしてやる。それまで私を見習って同じ
Wow! God! Whoa! This guy. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Dang. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's not about me knowing your name. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Koichi, you badass. <laughs> I think he's buying time for Jotaro. Uh huh. I think he's buying time for Jotaro. Oh, well, Jotaro. Yeah, yeah. Well, for 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 everyone, yeah. But Jotaro's right there. Oh, Koichi, you badass! Oh! Did he just gore him? Um, I'm not sure. No, he did! Okay, Crazy Diamond, we need you here, like, right now. Right now. Oh my god! Holy shit! He just donutted him! <laughs> Jeez! Good grief, what a psychopath! Like, actually needs to fix yeah. that. But you're gonna blow him up anyways, right? Because you need to get rid of the body. Or is that the point? Wow! Wow! Come and on! The hand? Yes! Oh! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, no way! <laughs> Teleports behind him! Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing! He's like the one stand user out there that had no idea who you're talking to right now. <laughs> Oh, it's everything he can do to stand up! Well, yeah, but he could- You're close, he could stop time and yeah. start platinum just aura aura you. Boom! Yeah. Boom! Oh. Look at that! Look oh. at that hit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yare yare. <laughs> oh my god, the little- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh my god! No! No way! Oh! Oh! And we can't even see JoJo's eyes. They censored that just because too much, too much coming from it. Oh! I know everyone get over here now and heal these guys! Jeez! I think Koichi might just be I know, dead. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but, but, but come on, we can get, we can get Crazy Diamond, it should be like 10 seconds, right? Like, oh, come on! Come on! Come on! No way. No, 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 no! Get over here, get over here right now! <gasps> Yeah, I know! I know, come on! Come on, come on! Crazy Diamond! Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, he's he's not dead, yeah. Crazy Diamond! Come on! Okay, okay, he's doing it, he's doing it. You need to have your stand, like, turn one of your buttons into a bomb and just throw it at them or something. <laughs> yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Well, I think Josuke's gonna heal him. 
Yeah. 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 Crap. Crap. Oh. Hurry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Josuke! <laughs> Although he could have said that I saw whatever you did to them, but... <laughs> for a very long time. Oh, but only for tonight! Wow. Oh my god. Oh. Gotcha. There we go. Oh crap! Nice. Nice. Very cool. And his hand's just gonna go back to Kira. Okay, okay. Oh, let's go, right. let's go. And we're all juiced up. We're good to go. Chase you. Now he chase you! Let's freaking chase you! <laughs> and they're gonna see his hand reattached. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, it can't get through. <gasps> oh, man. Too late. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, no. It's so fitting that it's a hand, too. Right? No way! He took someone's face? Is he that changed what the, his Is look. that what the right hand does? Oh, he used, he used, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. This has been wow. his backup plan all along. Yeah. <gasps> She's a bomb. Yeah, yeah, the finger, the finger in the... Oh, nice, nice. Good use of the hand. Good use, Okuyasu. Follow the hand! <laughs> no, no, you're not. Wow. Oh, oh my wow. god. No! Holy crap! That is amazing. That is so amazing. Oh! Wow! What? <laughs> what? what? Holy crap! And they set what? that up from earlier with the, with the whole possibility of that happening. <laughs> you can't drink it fast enough. <laughs> oh my god. They put okay. everything in this episode. Okay. This, everything. This episode. This episode. Oh good. This, this, this might be one of the greatest like, episodes of JoJo's oh, we've ever man. seen. Like, oh man, because like, the thing is, mm. okay, like at so many points I'm like I, I was like, wait, can can they really have it go this way? Like like okay, like like alright, 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 alright. 
The yeah. fact, the fact, <sighs> I can't even think. The fact that Koichi and yeah. Jotaro are still alive is insanely lucky. Insane. In some ways, in some ways, potentially, because Kira was so rattled because they, you know, because they got inside his head, right? right? Like right. Jotaro said, because there were many things that he could have potentially tried to do to kill them while they were still like right. in the draw, right? Right. You know, like like ripping off a button and throwing it or something like that. You know. Sure. But sure. but like but <laughs> but but they made. But, but I love about this because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Regardless of the why didn't. Yoshikage uh-huh. Kira do this. Why didn't he use yeah. Killer Queen to do this? Everything that they chose to have Kira do was based on how his character is written, basically. Right. Uh-huh. And they reemphasized that over and over and over again in classic yeah. JoJo style yep, to yep, make yep. sure it was like, over the top like enough that we to understood. Put the sock back on Koichi. Right, right, right. You know, Ridiculous yeah. stuff that mm-hmm. shows in a lot of ways not just his pride, but also that he has this like almost obsessed. Uh, desire to keep him, well, not really him, but more his environment in like a state that is pleasing to his, his mental health his, is very important. Exactly, after all. and 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 <sighs> that whole thing of it just basically slowing him down and basically putting him in a state of panic survival mode where he's using whatever he can. He's making mistakes. Yep. He's feeling like a like a human being and and in some ways because he's such a psycho because mm-hmm. he has such a such a broken personality with regards to how he handles the world he feels so abnormal but then when he uh-huh. has these little things here where he screws up and and, <laughs> and basically and ma- start playing him beats the shit out of him <laughs> <laughs> like oh man there were so many cathartic things in this yes. episode yeah man i i can't i can't stop just like just just fangasming with oh, joy right was, now that was so, so wonderful. let's go off the checklist right now mm-hmm. koichi Koichi being doing awesome. doing everything he can, uh-huh. taking at the very least like on one of the most terrifying villains in all of JoJo's, yep, and actually like and and beating like, him at the mental game, beating even at the if he couldn't game. beat him in the actual game, and right. that stuff that he was saying where he's like, yeah, you're gonna kill me, but I'll see you in the afterlife, you know, and <laughs> yes. like, oh man, like like. And it's added with so much emphasis because we have Yuki Kanji voice acting oh, yeah. Koichi, and it's oh, just yeah. like oh. And then and then we have this this thing of like okay, we're trying to meta game this and go okay, mm-hmm. they can't kill Koichi. Like come on, they really right, can't. Exactly, Koichi's so, practically the main character. But then he donuts, he kaki Owens, yeah, he freaking like boom, you know, yeah, busted and, his chest through with with Killer Queen, and we're like oh god, like 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 like. like this is a this is a part of JoJo's. You can do whatever you want because eventually there'll be another JoJo. But like, but like they they mm-hmm. they, they threatened us with like, no, we could have killed yeah. Koichi. Here. Oh yeah, we could have killed Koichi. Well, here. and the thing is, the thing the thing is, is that in a lot of ways, Koichi should have been dead right there. Like uh, yeah, like, yeah, like crazy might, like crazy have. Diamond can can cover for a lot of things and mm-hmm. and. You know, there's like since what is death exactly? Like, is it when brain function stops or what? You know, because if that's the case, you could sure. say that he was you know, he was definitely unconscious. He was definitely unconscious. You know, even if he didn't have a heart, there would still be yeah. blood that oxygenated blood that would be in the brain. Sure, that to you know drain whatever. So, brain so stop, you know. I'm totally fine like, with him being alive. Right, exactly. And but then like, Jotaro basically being like, "Okay, good. You bought yeah. me enough time." And, uh uh-huh. and, um, and I loved the whole thing of Jotaro basically pulling the Wesley and like right. getting up but barely being able to stand. Yes. But his stand can still stand. And and that's and, a perfect uh, way to have Jotaro with this overpowered stand yeah. mm-hmm. still be a real effective exactly. use right. in the plot because he's nerfed essentially by the overwhelming power right. of sheer right. heart attack. Exactly. So it feels like a very continuity focused yep. step by step causal uh-huh. chain and, and, of where right. Jotaro yep. this is all he could do yep. and but he whole... still beats the shit out of oh, yeah. Yoshikage Kira with, with... because because Killer Queen needs to get you know that's that's the problem with melee touch you know type right. stuff right like um Right. If you have a if you have a stand that has a stagger effect, stuns you, takes away your your move action or, or what have you, and you know just 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 or or right. or as you into oblivion. Sheer heart attack is a way better matchup against Jotaro than Killer Queen. Yes. Because because it, it's know, another melee stand. Because it's right exactly and right. and 
And Star Platinum wins all melees and battles. And he should, even no when he's operating at like 10% power. Exactly, yeah. He, <laughs> so he was probably he's stopping like, time for like fractions of a second uh -huh. so that he would get his punches around there. Because I actually think what they were setting up here is that uh, Killer Queen is actually really fast. Uh -huh. Like, not just a good, you know, right, um, that, tr like I would call mm -hmm. him basically a transmutation stand. He has, right, right, right. he changes the attributes yep. of something in a lot of ways like Echoes, but also he kind of yeah. warps reality right. in the same way like Crazy Diamond. Right, I think what they were basically saying was that Star Platinum was using the ability to stop, or Jotaro was using the ability to stop time with Star Platinum to make it so that Star Platinum was landing the first punch. Right. And as we know, once the Aura Aura lands and starts, there ain't can't no do stopping it. You can't do anything yeah. else. So, and, and they also had multiple moments in this episode where the damage being done by uh, from mm. to the stand affected the stand user in some clever ways. Which I'm like, very happy about because there are a lot of cases where that like is just sort of like, oh, was that a rule? Uh, whatever. Yeah, Rocky you know. forgot, you know. Yeah, yeah. But like um, the but, stepping on uh, Echoes Act 3's neck. Oh, yeah. Slamming well, and, Koichi and to the ground. the hand, like, mm -hmm. like Kira's hand, sudden, like him getting up and then his hand falling to the ground and it's like, Oh yeah, wait, it no. hit the elbow as a fulcrum and then it slammed like extra hard, basically. Well, well but just the idea of it's not just it being stuck to something, but if you have something that's heavier, mm -hmm. like like the whole idea of like Earth's gravity, for instance, right? Like in sci-fi stories, there'll be plenty of examples of like, oh, right. we're on a planet where the gravity is like 50% stronger. So that means we're way stronger when we go to other planets. It's like, sure. But the thing is that if you if you fall over, you know, in a You're situation not where- you durable. Right, exactly. Yeah. Like if you fall over 50% more gravity, like you, you could die. Like, like that, there, there's a reason why when you get old, you know, yeah. falling over is now a serious problem right mm -hmm. so so his hand being heavier and it's just it's just pasted on on the pavement it's just like yeah pretty much every bone in there is broken like right oh man and so it makes sense why he was and i believe this was the same hand why he was also willing to cast it off right because exactly. at that point it was already useless as yep. far as um mm -hmm. physicality right well and, and stuff like right that. and and then the weight was taken off because of the five meter range thing like there were so right. many things where they were using their stands in good creative ways mm -hmm. that is also what they would think of but then that could potentially create opportunities for the other people right. like like the whole thing of him cutting off his hand to leave sheer heart attack there it's like right. okay wonderful yeah they'll, they'll have they'll be busy dealing with that but then Josuke is just like hold on I got this <laughs> uh, brrr, cool no uh, no I didn't attack it I healed it you right, know? right now now it's going back when I always follow the hand it's like that's amazing it's and brilliant. brilliant and I love it um but then, but then things also like uh, 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 like uh, using using Zahando to to absorb to basically absorb the explosion so that it doesn't and also hurt them. send them away. Right, right, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Like that, that's that's brilliant. That's that's good mm -hmm. stuff right there. Um, yeah. I, I love I love also the fact that we are seeing what Kira in Survivor mode looks like mm -hmm. because one of the things that I thought they were kind of hinting at in the very beginning was the idea that he was he couldn't stand this public humiliation but the thing is is what's important to acknowledge there is that it's not that he hates humiliation like he has a arrogant kind of nature he is arrogant in a lot of ways oh, yeah. but it's actually more that it's public and he wants to live his his quiet life he wants mm -hmm. a life of peace he wants peaceful sleep right and the thing is is that I think actually when Kira is in survival mode, all of his pride, all of his um all of his posturing and everything like that goes completely out the window. To the point where he kills off himself in the wor in the world of this town, in the world of Morio, basically. Yep. Yoshikaga Kira is dead. Yeah. Because uh -huh. the Jobros cannot prove that, you know, he's still out there. Right. No one is going to buy stands are out there and as a thing. Well, and even if they could, there's no way they'll find him. Right. Right. Like, so Ow. long as now now the thing is for Yoshikage Kire is that now he has to start over. Well, like, does he? Because does because, he though? Well, there's like okay, he might have like like he doesn't have his house anymore. Because they can have like they can get the Speedwagon right. Foundation and some yep, police yep. to go search his house and say, and, hey, we found where the and, killer and is. And he probably doesn't have his bank account anymore. Because uh, that I'm, is a good point. Because I'm guessing he wouldn't be able to effectively just withdraw money if he has a different face. 
yeah, he 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 might have his identification and but might be then, able to well, right, but he might you know, be able to basically find some way to get the money out of the town. Right, like with his signature, you know, whatever, like like I'm I'm sure he could probably he could probably get small amounts. But then he wouldn't want to do that regularly because then that ties back to him. So, you know, but that's actually a good way they could track him is basically say, hey, we need your cameras. Well, right. That's another reason why he would just bank. never want to do that. Right. Because right. then they, they could see his face. So but, but him building from the ground up sounds exciting. Oh, it's yeah. Like a, yeah. It's like a mm-hmm. it's because like a, he's just it's like, like villain fine, progression. Fine. Story exactly. Now. Right. He's like, you ruined my life, but that's fine. I can take it in stride. I I do well with systems. I'll just sort yeah. of I'll just sort of keep doing what I do. I'll, I'll just find be a desk job. clerk somewhere. Yep, exactly. And, and I'll just oh. Oh, that that's fine. I'll just have my I'll I'll still be able to have my my uh, Friday date nights. You right. Know. But what happens in the next twenty four hours after this is very important because there are key places that if Kira is not quick enough about this and he doesn't go and maybe acquire some resources mm-hmm. and do some things that, like that. It's not as easy as him just going and finding another job because he doesn't have a legitimate ID. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have... Right. Uh, he might a, not have money for a place to stay. Right. You know? He he yeah. needs certain basic things mm-hmm. that will cause him to do things more, um, more publicly and mm-hmm. maybe use his stand even. Like, here's, an, here, here's Although, an example of something where I could see him using his stand very mm-hmm. creatively here is that... Um, but based on the fact that his his explosions are a part of his stand, no one can see the explosions or something mm-hmm. like that. So he could go kill someone and just take over their basic life, essentially. Like, he wouldn't look like them oh, or gotcha. something like that. But, like, yeah. He but could, if they worked from home, mm-hmm. if they did all their things, you know, anonymously, right. basically He, he like could that. kill someone and then take, like, if, like, uh... I've heard a big thing in Japan is hiding money in your house. Sure. Right? Like, you know, just, just in case, like, you know. Living off of their whatever. resources for basically two weeks or so in order to get his bearings. Right. Basically using mm-hmm. that to then be, basically be able to be like, all right, get, you know, some basic apartment somewhere yeah. for while he get while he's working at his new job. And then he's moving and grooving again. Yeah. But, and then from there, he abandons mm-hmm. that place But entirely. here's the thing. I could also totally see, because so many times this episode... Kira talked about how how he was suffering, but he was going <laughs> yes. to push through it because that's right. the kind of person he was, yeah. right? I would not be surprised oh. if he ended up being a homeless person on on the street for a while, potentially. Sure. You know, because but he's like, I may be homeless, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to I'm I'm going to get back to where I was. This is just it's just a small inconvenience. I might His not be able be to afford same. those sandwiches and things like that. Uh, that's true, but he could he could get a haircut and he could. But that's that's know. that's one of the things that you can count on, though, is that. His hair would look different, meaning um, that was the, the skin color... taken off of the top of the head. No, no, okay. I don't think so. But what that means is that he's going to probably be bald, or he's going to have the same color of hair because mm-hmm. he. Well, wait, no, he had his wallet, and his wallet had that's that's actually. Oh my God, Iraqi, right. you're a genius. He had still a lot of money in his wallet. He had like yeah, fifty yeah, thousand like, yen or something like that, yeah, yeah, or maybe yeah. 40, basically 000. like four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. So basically, with that money, he could then go to a salonist or something like that, dye his hair, you mm-hmm. know, cut it and what have you. Yep. Do a bunch of other little things, get his food situation taken care of, and maybe a basic apartment, and then from there restart his life mm-hmm. with a new job or something. But yeah, like. If oh, this man. then turns into a detective thing where it's now oh, like yeah. we have Chase, to go and yeah. we now yeah. have to go and find the mouse, the rat that escaped. Like, like this oh, is okay. Oh, I this love episode, it. the the stakes got so high. Yes. Right? And it's yes. like, how can they do that here? There's still so much left in in you know the part. Right. And they were able to have it actually have a dramatic conclusion. Like this didn't feel like something where it's like like they reset oh, everything, and then we're going to do some bullshit recycle, you know, so that that mm-hmm. way it's like, hey, we're not actually you know resolving things here. Right. But no, this this actually the good guys won. They definitely won. They definitely won. Oh yeah. And yet Kira also won. Yes, he is now going to. He tactically retreated. Right. Exactly. He <laughs> used the Joe Star secret technique. He used the Joe Star secret technique, like, and the and thing it is, worked super well, effectively. Well, and not only super oh. effectively, but we had him kill off another side character. Yeah, Doctor Aya was actually is, like, I was like really looking forward to like having her be kind of a Tonio, like 
yeah, uh-huh. he, you know, like Tonya right, out someone there. that's out there. But that's, and, yeah, but that's yeah. the thing because it because it's basically a way to keep. I mean, they did so many things to make Kira terrifying here, mm-hmm. but they had him be beaten and yet still feel terrifying because yeah, right. we know these people, right? There are other people out there that can and probably will die. Yes, you know because he's a dangerous guy, and that makes him being out there and the way that the way that Koichi had his like you yeah. Like uh-huh. what you did to the 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 girl, the the, mm-hmm. the ghost girl and stuff, and yep. Shigechi, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make you pay for that. And yeah. and we felt that as like, yes, Shonen Justice protagonist, go Koichi. Mm-hmm. But also, it's like, no, this his list, his list of his body count is racking up. He just killed Doctor Aya. He's still out there. And like Jotaro, like kind of almost promised, like kind of as he like proclaims reality to be in his Jotaro style of badassery. He's like. He's not even going to leave Mario. Yep. He's going to keep doing exactly what he's doing. Yep. Mm-hmm. But what are we going to do? We're going to chase him down like the rat oh, he man. is. Oh, and man. we're going to destroy him. Like, here's, like, here's the we thing. We have set up Kira, the next just yeah, whatever of story like, they want to do here. And I am so on board like, with it. Kira was great before this. He was. Right? He, he, was. he was great. He was He great. was the Phantom Menace. Yeah. 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 Well, wait, like as the movie or like Darth Maul? Well, in some ways, like just what the words mean, you know, like oh, okay, yeah, 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 right, yeah. Um, uh, but the thing is, is I was like, okay, he's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Will will he end up comparing to Pillarman and Dio? Right. Will will he will he be a serviceable comparison? Right. Exactly. And that's one of the things that that I was I was I was a little bit like questioning. Like, I mean, Uh and and again, not to say anything against Kira because I absolutely loved him. Now though, now, now, we don't even know what he step looks like. Aside, y'all. Dio, like, like, geez, like, like this, Dio has presence. Let's Dio, let's be real. Oh, oh. Dio's presence is very hard to compare to, but the sheer terror that comes from just this guy being out there and having this so obtuse uh-huh. personality in oh, the yeah. way he oh, looks yeah. at the yep, world. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, like, I think. Oh, I think we just think, found a new favorite think, JoJo villain. Yeah, I think Kira is now my favorite single JoJo villain. I yeah. feel like if you take the sum of the three pillar men together with, and you know, awaken my masters, they win. Well, but, yeah, but but, and, but that might just because they're interacting with Joseph, you know. Yeah, but like, but Kira, like, or Kira, not <laughs> Kira, uh, no, no. different different psycho, different but, villain. Yeah. Um, He's just so amazing. Like, all the idiosyncrasies and everything. Mm -hmm. And the way he, like, went to leave the tissues there, which is, like, one, could be Uh totally something that he would just do because he's, like, clean up. I can't... That's disgusting. Yeah, we thought it was a bomb. But... but, but It's not a bomb. But it also... You could have been a bomb. Like, like, I I almost expected him him to do that and then to just sort of leave them there and be like, okay, well, at least that's right. And, you know, and then... There you go. But... No. Oh, gotcha. So that like, it would be more of a thing of uh-huh. like he didn't want to see them die. Classic villain thing, and then something like that, okay. or, or or you at least look nice before I kill you. Kind of like what he ended up doing with the sock. And I thought he was gonna. I thought he gotcha. would have had Killer Queen touch the sock, you know. But no, <clears throat> no. Like, and and again, it's one of those things of like JoJo's. You know, it's like okay, you know, there there there's logic, and then there's style. But and with them still having but all the he strategy thought Koichi and was everything dead at that point, he had already. He had already kakyo in. Uh, well, point. no, because he was about to touch his uh, student badge before before Jotaro showed up. Let me let me look at the episode again real quick. So you're saying that basically he because uh, um because that was when Jotaro steps in and saves him. He's because they do the whole slow motion thing as he's going forward with Killer Queen to to touch his his student badge, um and then uh, uh you're right yeah, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, at this point here, he has been. No, he's been donated, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So he thinks he's dead. But oh no, he doesn't think he's dead because he is going right. to explode him. Uh-huh. But yeah. I think that might be just that he's clearing up the evidence. Uh sure, sure. But like, you know, and and yeah, and for that center of mass better than, you know, on the foot or something like that. But and and maybe that's again going into the whole thing, like some stuff that we might not have seen yet of the limitations of Killer Queen with what he can touch and how many things he can have active at any given time and stuff like that. Right. Um, well, he did call it primary bomb. 
the name of the move. Well, I think that's just because it's not um, sheer heart attack. Well, that's the point, though. The idea that sheer heart attack is an ability of his, but it's also an aspect of his stand, like it's a it's a tool, mm-hmm. means that he could have other, he could have secondary things right. out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what's the right hand? Yeah, what's know? the right hand? Like, exactly. They don't have to have it be anything, because in a lot of ways, I mean, if he didn't use it here, then it's either probably something that isn't useful in this situation, or it doesn't do anything because he was as desperate as he's ever been. Or you know? or another thing I've been waiting for people to do sometime with stands is in a very hunter hunter way, have someone make a new move with your stand. If your stand has abilities, oh, uh-huh. why don't you come up with more skills, techniques, and abilities sure. that aren't necessarily like fundamentally different abilities. Right, so when he shows up next time, then he's like, ah, and I've developed this new thing with Killer Queen. With my right hand. You right know. hand, Chen, go, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, that could make him, again, yeah. even more uh, terrifying. Yeah, but, oh, man. But, yeah, when Jotaro stood up, I... That was such I, rule of cool I got there. hard, like, man. Like, it was just I, like, okay, okay. Like, that... Okay. Like, oh, Koichi, you're the true winner of that fight the moment you got into his head. And the yep. way, like, Killer, Killer Queen, like, like <laughs> blocks it, and it's like, okay, that's a full block. I and respect it has to block, that. Like, you know, it blocks with, like, both arms and everything. And but just the way he stands oh, yeah. up, and yep, he's yep, got, yep. like, blood just oh, yeah. from every, like, from everywhere. But, like... I feel he, like... <laughs> like, the way, like, Killer Queen sh- also shrinks back into... Mm-hmm. Um, into, into, Kira. into Kira is basically yeah, yeah. him being like, oh, I'm confident. But I also feel it is like Killer Queen being like, yeah, I'm going to go into evaluation mode. I am a little right. worried mm-hmm. right now. And Kira's like, I might have just peed a little, you know? Just yeah. Like, huh, I didn't think you were alive. But then he's playing the whole, I can see through your gaping wounds. Uh-huh. And also, this is another thing that's really funny. Kira's isolated from this whole world of stands, whereas, you know, Red Hot Chili Pepper mm-hmm. and all them and stuff, they were you know, keenly aware of who Jotaro was. Right. And the uh-huh. idea that Kira is like the only one out there that we see up to this point that doesn't know, you know Jotaro? About the most like the god stand of stand user users. Out there. And, and, yeah. and he's just like, I'd love to know your name and a bit more about you, but I'm afraid I have to leave. I'm like, yeah. uh, uh, boy, did you know who you're dealing with here? Like, this guy, this guy. Oh, man. Ooh, oh, oh, man. And, yeah. and, and so... Instead of having it be a thing of where they, you know, kind of like kind of draw it out or anything, it mm-hmm. feels like a proper build up to where they actually confront each other, and then, but then, <laughs> and just the way he like promises, like I'm about oh, to make your face even, even though, uglier, and he does, and the, he does the like a cowboy yeah, swipe yeah, across yeah, uh-huh, the, yeah. the top with his hat, and it's just oh, oh, I, I, that was I so love satisfying this. to see Jotaro. Aura Aura someone again? Like, mm. Because the thing is, is that, okay, when was the last time we saw a really good Aura Aura from Joe Tro? It's part been a three. while. Like, it, in a lot of ways, well, it was part three. Like, Well, was it, was it, was there one in part four? There, there probably was, but the thing is, is that it didn't Shoot, mean as much, yeah. right? Whereas here, this means a lot. And for someone like Hey, Kira, it was another blonde asshole, basically. That's at the end true, of part yeah. Three. Yeah, and, and, and in this Just case, saying. because Kira is all about appearances and mm. maintaining outward composure and demeanor right. watching <laughs> watching his get face just getting beaten into a pulp <laughs> was <You know>? <laughs> wonderful that was that was so awesome oh mm. it was it was mm. it was glorious ah. oh yeah. man and 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 he does look actually a little uglier oh you yeah. know from after like the his whole face is squashed but the the idea that he actually seems to do a good job at being like, uh-huh. I'm just an office employee, but now I'm going to die. It hurts and stuff. And uh, so mm-hmm. the, the the fact that uh, right. he's like, please hurry and heal me. I, I really, I really want it to be. Okay. So he says, Hey, calm down. Everything's fine. Now I can heal your wounds. Mm-hmm. The idea that a real person would have questioned Right. Wait, you can do what? Like, oh, oh, like he didn't seem shocked by that. Right. Uh huh. He didn't. He didn't do anything of like, oh, or like, holy shit, those two people over there are okay. Like, you know. Right. Right. If anything, he just says, "Please hurry and heal me." Right. Which is, I love how Josuke basically gives this like, 
Oh, you think I'm you think I'm stupid? Yeah. You yeah, think like, I was born like, yesterday? Like it's that it's I was that, already like, suspicious about you. Raise, like <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like I may not be Jotaro with my with passive thirty perception, like, mm, but I still have a passive mm, twenty because I'm a JoJo. Like I'm a freaking Joe star. Yeah, and yeah. You, you, my friend, just failed your deception check. Yeah. So. uh... I just love, it's hard enough for me to get into pachinko parlors. You, you think I look an, old enough to be a doctor that graduated from medical school? Like, <laughs> I just, yeah. I just love that, like, they have this whole thing of, like, understanding each other perfectly, mm-hmm. only to be subverted by, I'm oh. just going to chop off my hand. And let's not forget the part where, where he freaking smashed Koichi's face into the pavement again and again. Like, yeah. that was... That, that was, was terrifying. Brutal. That was chilling. That was brutal. And that wasn't even like the the like there. No, like there's so so much more that happened this episode. Like forgot to mention it even until now. Right. Wow. This episode Ugh. was it's just so good. Hey, crazy crazy idea here. Mm-hmm. Could Crazy Diamond, if punching, um, uh, Kira, mm-hmm. could he reconstruct his face? back to what it originally was. Now, we'd have to know who to punch, Possibly, obviously. Possibly, but because it was done by a stand user, you could say that it's not... It's not a damage. It's not damaged anymore. Sure. You know, there's nothing that needs to be healed. Um, yeah. Now, now the other crazy question is, like, does, like, how much, how much does Dr. Aya's stand um, really change... Now we know what parts were changed, you know, the nose, mm. the mouth, the eyes, and yeah, 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 there. But it's like, will we even have some kind of like, ooh, that kind of looks like Kira? Uh-huh. Like, could we tell if right. we went back and looked through the crowd here? Shoulder span. We go based well, on shoulder Kira's span. not actually that. No, no, that I know, big. I know, but just you know, the idea that his body structure won't have changed. Oh, he's Although, going to be tall. Like, Kira well, is tall. Like, look at him. Here. Uh, yes. Because, yes. remember, Josuke is also pretty tall. And he actually mm-hmm. stands, like, pretty much at eye level with Josuke. Um, hmm. So, yeah. I almost want to go back to this uh, to this crowd here. Because the way they grayscaled also... Uh, oh, I mean... Oh. Here. Oh, oh. No, crap. No, some of the hair some was Some of the thinking. hair. Okay, yeah. so it's someone with dark hair. We know that much then. This person has black hair. Right. Okay. So it removed the forehead, so the hair there, and then the forehead obviously would change a little bit. The nose, although, the eyes. The, although if it wasn't all of the, the, the hair, then the, does that mean? No, I think what it'll be is that the whole color of the hair would change as well. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, there are other things you can do that would change your, your look as well. So yeah, everyone used their stand in very awesome, creative ways. But when you look at this crowd here, I don't think he's, like, going to be in here necessarily. But, like, um, oh, wait a minute, wait, actually. Wait, what if it's that person right who is there? Who's that? With the X's on their... Wait. Yeah, hold on. Um, hold on. No, that almost looks like something that stands out too much. Oh, wait, though. Wait, though. Remember how I said that they would be, like, bald or something like that? Who is that? Um, dude. Okay, that could be. That's someone though. Regardless of whether or not that's Kira, look at that design. That just seems like although mm, no, maybe it's not well, actually. Okay, it's, wait. It's, this person's too thin. Yeah. Yeah, way too thin. Well, and one of the things that they do here that I do really like is that they make it so that it's not just a bunch of random people. Like a lot of them have right. distinctive designs. Like right. the girl with the white hair in the background. Yeah, like, that's true. Like that's that's awesome. And then have the, met the person her? with no. the long blonde, blonde hair. Blonde yeah, hair yeah, over exactly. Here on the left. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Okay. I also wow. love that uh, Koichi comes out here and basically like uh-huh. shonen protagonists sit, and yep. everyone looks at him like, "What? Like, Who, bro, what's going on?" Yeah. And like literally, like that person right there could be Kira for all. Oh, we sure. Know. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And then just that he won't be quivering in fear or hiding for his life. He probably won't even leave Morio. Morio. He'll keep living in this town like he always has. Then we have this whole thing right here where we Suji show Aya has died. Suji Aya has died. But we get a look at the full crowd here. And I'll bet you, just with how 
like Araki is, one of these people is literally Kira. Like, I'll, I'll bet you anything. Like, they all have suits and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's actually one of the things. Like, his suit wouldn't have changed. Uh, but, no. Wasn't but, the man. guy? Wasn't the guy's uh, clothes taken? Oh, they might have been. Because he he abandoned his uh, he abandoned his clothes on the way here. Oh yeah, yeah. So they, he's, they he's wearing some something different. Taken off, yeah. But yeah, he's got the guy who's on here. He doesn't have yeah, his shirt yeah, or yep, clothes. Yep. So man, oh boy, Kira, wow. you magnificent this, bastard. This was somehow this was absolutely amazing. Went, yeah, somehow Kira, you went from being a very cool B villain to being like an S tier villain. Yeah, like, like in one episode. Oh man. Oh, man. God, I'm so hyped for more JoJo's. So, y'all, yeah. if you want to see the next JoJo's reaction and discussion, Ooh. go check out the link in the description mm -hmm. below for our Patreon. Yes. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us about these stories uh, in a non-spoiler way, of course. Right. You can uh, chat with us about anime in general. Mm -hmm. um, there's faction events going on that are going to be pretty yes. cool. Also, you can chat with Jacob about his book he just finished publishing. That's right. My passion project, Sci-Fi Novel Battle Lines, is still available for purchase on Amazon. Link in the description below. Go check it out. It's a pretty fun book. Yeah, it's pretty good. I I've read it. It's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, if any that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.